Did you know that Myanmar, formerly known as Burma, is home to the world's largest book? Yes, nestled in the heart of Southeast Asia, Myanmar is a nation brimming with history, culture and intrigue. This land, steeped in ancient traditions, houses the world's largest book, not bound in leather or paper, but etched on stone tablets at the Kutodaw Pagoda. The name Myanmar may sound quite exotic to many, but this was not always so. Until 1989, the country was known to the world as Burma. The name change was part of a larger shift, a thrust towards a new identity. Myanmar isn't just a country, it's a living, breathing tapestry of stories, a testament to the resilience of its people and a beacon of Southeast Asian heritage. Each corner of this nation holds a new mystery, a new tale waiting to be discovered. Now that we've piqued your curiosity, let's delve deeper into the captivating history of this beautiful country. The history of Myanmar is a fascinating journey that takes us back thousands of years. The early civilizations that thrived here were nothing short of remarkable. The PYU city-states, for instance, were thriving hubs of trade and culture, where people from diverse backgrounds coexisted harmoniously. They were known for their exquisite craftsmanship and their remarkable urban planning. As we travel further down the timeline, we encounter the rise and fall of the Bagan Empire, an era that witnessed the construction of over 10,000 temples, pagodas and monasteries. This period was a golden age of architectural brilliance and religious devotion, shaping the cultural landscape of Myanmar in profound ways. Yet, the course of history is seldom smooth. The Mongol invasions of the late 13th century brought about the downfall of the Bagan Empire, casting a shadow of upheaval and uncertainty over the region. Despite the devastation, the spirit of the people remained unbroken, their resilience echoing through the ages. In the 19th century, Myanmar found itself under British colonial rule. This period brought about significant changes, from infrastructure development to shifts in governance and societal norms. It was a time of adaptation and transformation, with the echoes of the past blending with the rhythms of the new world. Yet, even in this time of change, the people of Myanmar held on to their cultural roots. The traditional arts, literature, and spiritual practices continued to flourish, weaving a rich tapestry of heritage that has endured the test of time. As we reflect on these distinct eras, we see how each has left indelible marks on the culture and identity of Myanmar. From the early PYU city-states to the colonial period, each chapter of history has shaped the nation in unique ways. The resilience of its people, their enduring traditions and the timeless beauty of their land tell a captivating story of change, adaptation and survival. The distinct eras in Myanmar's history have left indelible marks on its culture and identity. This is the legacy of Myanmar, a nation steeped in history, its story a testament to the enduring spirit of its people. B. Myanmar's journey to independence was a tumultuous one, marked by resilience and determination. The story began in the late 19th century when Myanmar, then known as Burma, found itself under British colonial rule. This period transformed the country in myriad ways from its economy and social structure to its language and cultural identity. Yet, beneath the surface, a spirit of resistance simmered. The Burmese people, despite being subjects of a foreign power, never lost sight of their desire for freedom, their yearning for independence. Then came the storm of the Second World War. The British were forced to retreat and a new foreign power, Japan, stepped in. Initially, some Burmese nationalists saw the Japanese as liberators, an ally in their fight against British rule. However, the harsh reality of Japanese occupation soon became apparent. The promise of independence was just a mirage and the people of Burma found themselves under yet another oppressive regime. But from this crucible of war and occupation rose a leader who would change the course of Myanmar's history. His name was Aung San. A charismatic figure, Aung San rallied his people, fostering a sense of unity and purpose. He negotiated with the British and the Japanese, 
always with the singular goal of securing independence for his country. Finally, after decades of struggle and sacrifice, the dawn of independence arrived. On the 4th of January, 1948, Myanmar emerged as a sovereign nation with a democratic government. Aung San, however, did not live to see this day, having been assassinated a few months earlier. But his legacy lived on, and his vision of a free and independent Myanmar was realized. Independence brought hope and new challenges, shaping the Myanmar we know today. The country's journey was far from easy, but through it all, the spirit of resilience and determination that marked its struggle for independence remained undiminished. This spirit continues to define Myanmar, a testament to its past and a beacon for its future. Or modern Myanmar is a nation striving for progress while grappling with significant challenges. Our journey takes us back to the year 1962, a pivotal moment in Myanmar's history marked by a military coup. This event heralded the onset of a prolonged period of military rule, a regime that would hold the reins of the nation for nearly five decades. The military junta, as it was known, implemented a series of policies under the banner of the Burmese Way to Socialism, a path that unfortunately led to economic isolation and widespread poverty. However, the winds of change began to blow in the 90s as the junta started to loosen its iron grip on the economy. A series of reforms were introduced, aimed at transforming Myanmar from a centrally planned economy to a market-oriented one. While these measures did spark some economic growth, the fruits of progress were not evenly distributed, leaving many citizens mired in poverty. As we turn the corner into the 21st century, the political landscape of Myanmar began to change. The year 2015 marked a significant milestone in the country's journey towards democracy, with the first openly contested election held since 1990. The National League for Democracy, under the leadership of Aung San Suu Kyi, emerged victorious, promising a new era of hope and change. Yet, the journey is far from over. Today, Myanmar continues to grapple with significant challenges. Human rights issues, including the treatment of the Rohingya minority, remain a pressing concern. Additionally, the nation is embroiled in numerous ethnic conflicts, a testament to the complex tapestry of cultures that make up Myanmar. So, where does this leave us? Well, Myanmar is a country of contrasts, a land where the struggle for progress is as much a part of the national identity as the rich cultural heritage that has been woven over centuries. Yes, there are challenges, and yes, there are struggles, but these struggles are part of the narrative, part of the journey towards a brighter future. Despite its challenges, Myanmar continues to evolve, leaving no room for monotony. Today, Myanmar stands as a vibrant tapestry of diverse cultures, traditions, and landscapes. It's a place where over a hundred ethnic groups have been weaving their stories into the fabric of the country, each contributing unique threads of tradition, language, and belief systems. Let's journey through this cultural kaleidoscope, starting with the Bama people, who form the largest ethnic group. Their classical dance forms, such as the elegant Yin and their traditional puppet theater, known as Yogdi, are captivating reflections of their rich heritage. Next, we find the Chin, Kachin, and Kaya, peoples of the highlands, their cultures deeply rooted in the rugged landscapes they inhabit. Their traditional attire with vibrant colors and intricate designs mirrors the natural beauty that surrounds them. And who can forget the Shan living primarily in the eastern plateaus? Their unique customs, including the novice monk ceremony, paint a vivid picture of their deeply spiritual way of life. In Myanmar, Diverse landscapes give rise to diverse cultures, from the bustling cosmopolitan streets of Yangon, where modernity meets tradition, to the serene, timeless temples of Bagan. Each place has a unique rhythm, a distinctive pulse. And let's not overlook the culinary tapestry of Myanmar. The food is a delightful fusion of influences, from the tangy fermented tea leaf salad, a national favorite, to the hearty Shan noodles, each dish 
tells a story of its own. Traditional arts and festivals further enrich this cultural mosaic. The Thingyan Water Festival, marking the Burmese New Year, sees people of all ages and backgrounds come together in a joyous celebration of unity and renewal. Indeed, the enchanting beauty of Myanmar is more than just its landscapes. It's the interplay of diverse cultures, the symphony of a hundred languages, the shared smiles and the unspoken understanding. Myanmar, with its rich history and diverse culture, is a country that invites exploration and understanding. It's a place where every thread of culture and tradition weaves a tale that's waiting to be discovered. So, are you ready to unravel the vibrant tapestry that is Myanmar? We've journeyed through the ages, tracing Myanmar's path from ancient civilizations to the present day. We've marveled at the intriguing charm of this Southeast Asian gem, with its rich tapestry of history that has been woven over thousands of years. From the grandeur of its ancient kingdoms to the dynamic and diverse cultures that flourish today, Myanmar's story is truly captivating. We've also delved into the nation's struggle for independence, a courageous fight that has shaped the character of its people. We've explored the challenges that Myanmar faces in the modern world, but also the progress it's making on its journey towards a brighter future. Throughout it all, the vibrant culture of Myanmar stands as a testament to the resilience and spirit of its people. As we conclude our journey, we are left with a deeper appreciation for Myanmar, a nation that continues to fascinate and inspire. Until next time, explore more, learn more.